All right, y'all, so I'm home. Now, um, one of the things I want to talk to you guys about that I don't see none of my fellow YouTubers really talking about unless it's some bullshit. And that's, you know, because people always wonder, how do I get to do some of the things that I do in my marriage? Like some of the stuff that I post and like the male exotic shit and all of that. See, the thing is, in life, you got to find a person that really, you know, is secure with they self. Everybody have insecurities, but being insecure within they self, you can never have a relationship with nobody like that because they're going to always point the finger and say, you're the reason. And that if you do this, they'll feel better. And well, if you do this, then I'll feel secure. And you'll keep on doing all these different things and trying all this different shit to try to make this person feel secure within they self when it don't have anything to do with you. Because nine times out of ten, that's something that they inherit from childhood. So the best thing you can do is try not to focus so much on how a person look, you know, and more so how they treat you. Because what I learned is, like, I don't go for those that I want. I want those that, like, I'm attracted to those that want me. You know, if you like me, that's who I deal with. You know, because if you constantly chasing after somebody that you want, they know you got to do the work. You got to jump through the loops and all of that. So the trick is, if you're going to start off in a relationship, putting your best foot forward, knowing you dragging baggage with the other foot, the best thing to do is to stay exactly how you started off. That's why me, I jumped off both feet. Boom. You know, I ain't no baggage. I jumped off both feet. And I'm 100% with saying that I'm always consistent with the way I started off. I don't change anything. You know, I'm going to go hard from the gate. And I stay exactly like that. That's why my relationship, my marriage, saying the way it do is because I don't change nothing up. You know, because um, the trick is to constantly fight to keep things right. You know, because a relationship only works if two is fighting to keep it right. That's what the relationship is. That's the battle, to keep it right. You know, it's not about, I got this person now, I could go chill, now I could go and holler at this bitch, now I could go holler at this nigga. That's not a relationship. You know what I'm saying? That's just a person that like the thrill, you know, and, and the little challenge and all this. So, um, if you guys out there are girls or whatever, you guys having problems with y'all girls, y'all have problems with y'all dude, you know, uh, maybe, you know, you should learn how to put yourself in their shoes. That's one thing that I learned that I've been doing now for about a year and a half. I put myself in that person's shoes, no matter who it is. If I interact my energy with them before I make certain decisions, I put myself in their shoes, you know, and the one thing I don't do, I don't start nothing with no one, I always let it come to me because I don't have a problem with solving nobody's problem, you know, and I see everything through. So that's why y'all can see me talk the way I talk around the house. So because you got to build a certain type of um, relationship, friendships inside of your, your, your relationship. If you don't have a friendship inside of it, ain't nothing going to work. And my marriage wasn't perfect. You know, and it still ain't perfect. It's just, you know, it's things that I know that I got to continue doing because I want to do them, you know. So that's just a little serious note, you know, after this grocery shopping, you know, a little late night grocery shop run for you guys to share this because none of us dudes is talking about no relationship stuff unless it's some bad relationship shit, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not gloating. I'm just letting y'all know however you start off, that's how you should see it all the way through. You shouldn't change. You let that person change if they're going to change for the worse. You let them change. And if they're taking you for granted, bounce. You don't have to stay there. I was told a long time ago, you don't owe nobody no explanation if you don't want to be with them. You don't owe nobody no explanation. Just bounce. What the fuck are you going to tell them? Oh, I don't want to be. It's me, not you. Nah, just bounce. Chunk the tray. Keep it moving. It's just that simple. So, I'm about to go in here, drink me some wine, pick me up a little bottle of wine, and throw up there with the rest of my bottles of liquor. 
you know, for old time's sake, a little cheap bottle of wine, got a little five dollar bottle of wine. I'm thinking about turning up tonight. You know. <laughs> nah. But yeah, so hopefully y'all like this. And to you dudes that's giving me them thumbs down, man. Y'all really need to stop trying to find a reason not not to like me. Cause you motherfuckers know y'all like me. Y'all know y'all like me. Cause y'all mama like me. Your mama, your granny, your sister, your auntie, your girl cousins, they all like me. So stop hating. You know what I'm saying? If you don't like my shit, just keep it moving, cuz. Don't just click on my shit and subscribe to my shit just to thumbs down. Cause you just making yourself look stupid because we still getting the views and the clicks. You know what I'm saying? This team 18 wheelers and we in this bitch to stay. And you know what I'm saying? We gonna keep on leveling up on motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? And we got so much more in store, so much more to come. We'll be hollering at y'all later. Brah! Kick, kick, kick. <laughs> what? Thought that nigga was talking to me, cuz. And fuck whoever don't like it, nigga. <laughs> that nigga always do that little laugh so they can be like, oh, you so funny. What y'all hear? You can't take it. You are not so tired now, but no. All right, birthday girl.